Eh? Yeah. Hymns. Some men have got good reason to fear their own shadows. Svegmit and an onskel uh, druid. Monsters most commonly claim innocence as their victims. Tardy merchants, reckless children, travellers who wander into dark woodlands out of misplaced curiosity. None of the above near fear hymns, however. These raids only latch on to particularly despicable individuals who committed some unspeakable crime. To all others, they remain completely invisible. When they do show themselves to the one day torment, they appear as a tall, shadow clad humanoid silhouette with long, sharp claws. Yet hymns do not sing their calls into their victims. Instead, they sap their strength indirectly through indirect suffering, uh, through inflicting suffering. Speaking in a voice only the victim hears, they drive him to commit acts of violence, aggression, and self harm. A hymn will seize on a person's guilty uh, on a guilty person. A hymn will seize on a guilty person's worst fears and weave out of them hideous visions, slowing, slowly driving the poor soul into madness. Those tormented by a hymn are incapable of restful sleep, for they are tormented by ever more frequent, incredibly realistic nightmares. At times the victim will become extremely on edge, yelling pleas or threats at invisible phantoms, or confessing his guilt out loud in the hope they will end his torment. This act does not, however, bring any relief, for the hymn will not leave, though it has added its victim's wits, comp added its victim's wits completely, or driven him to suicide. Moon dust, Spectre Oil, and Igni are its vulnerabilities. Up next is Jenny of the Block. I mean, Jenny the Woods.